Hello, today I want to talk about fee resistance and how to combat that from potential both or new and or existing clients. Fee clients often, if they want to leave a business, may say they're leaving on fees, but it's very few clients that are totally price sensitive. That might be part of it, but usually they haven't seen value for money or there's other reasons that why they are leaving or not coming on board with you. But it's easy to say you're too expensive or the fees are too high is a very simple uh, response rather than going into further detail. So it's really important to make sure that you acknowledge the fear of combat fees. If, if budget's an issue, discuss that up front. Make sure they're aware of that and you're very aware of it too, that you want to be able to spend their money wisely and give them real goods, whatever you try to provide for them too. You know, talk about the vision of the long term, you know, what you're going to create for them too, and whether it be saving money, whether it be growing a business, whether it be uh, expanding their team, etc. Whatever you're offering to help them do, make sure they can see the big picture because that's so important too. You know, and you want to gain buy-in from them too to the proposal. You know, find out what is important to them. You know, talk about what their needs are. You know, find their pain point and then address it. It's very important that you're providing a service that they need and something that's important to them at the time. And that changes over time, of course, but it's really important to drill down and ask lots of questions so you can find out what's important to them and make sure you can satisfy that need, which will make a big difference. You know, make sure also it's about them, not about you. So make sure the word you is in there all the time, talk about what can be done for them and what's important to them, not to you. So that's for, yes, it's got to be a win-win, but it's really important that they understand that. The other thing too is give them some options. You, know, you might have different price levels too, so that rather than just one level, you might give them some different options to what you could do. And often when you do that, say you've got three levels, you know, human nature is often the client will take the mid range, more so than the cheaper option and sometimes more expensive. But if you can sell well though, there's no reason why you can't upgrade that, if not then, later on. The other thing is to compute their return on investment. You know, use words like investment, not expense, so that they're investing in improving what they need and in your services too, so that they can do it. Remember, most people aren't totally price sensitive. Yes, it's important, people want value for money, but make sure you don't make price the issue. Give them a whole range of other things that are so much more important to their business because you've understood what they want by asking lots of questions. Good luck with the fees. Thank you.